Why is he getting his knickers in a twist so much about mathematics? Well, because if you look at the OECD average, pretty much we're the only country that does not continue maths up to 18. And if you look at the world that we live in now, but also the world that we work in, it is increasingly digital and increasingly the jobs require a decent level of maths. And the other thing is we've had quite a breakthrough in how we teach maths in this country. Since 2015, we've been introducing something called Mastery, which we kind of got from Singapore and then have adapted it to the UK. And it's been really successful at helping younger children um, be much more confident in maths. So um, we think we can build on that, really expand that and give people the confidence they need to do maths, to be comfortable with maths. Um, and to get good at maths, because actually you need maths. It makes a massive difference to your earnings going forward. Um, yeah, I, I get that. I get that particularly with the younger children bit, but it's the older children bit I don't get. And as you say, it can make a, an important difference to your earnings. But if there's another message behind this, which is basically we haven't got enough maths teachers or we have a particular deficiency... I'm not sure you do need maths. Isabel and I were talking about this. We can't really imagine or remember times in our lives outside getting a loan, getting a mortgage, getting a pay rise, uh, that we, we needed to be able to calculate anything too much with mathematics. So we're just sort of wondering why the need, because you've got machines to do all of this stuff nowadays. Well, or you've just mentioned quite a few things which are really important, actually, in terms of good debt versus bad debt, how you analyse uh, various financial products, how you choose which financial products are best for you, suit your circumstances, suit your earnings. That's maths. And a lot of young people say, I want to have more financial education, I want to have more understanding about these things. So that's part of maths. And this expert group is going to be looking at what we have and what we uh, also need to supplement it. It's a very, very broad subject. Almost nothing happens without maths. And I was thinking myself, because, you know, when, when Rishi first mentioned it to me, I felt back, you know, thought back to the relief I felt when I'd passed my maths O-level, thinking I'd never have to do that again. But then I've done loads of maths since, whether it's um, building a business case or estimating costs or analysing bids to be able to choose a supplier. Lots and lots of things, even my patio that we're getting built at the moment, you know, how many flags you need. There's many, many, many things in life that either for your professional or personal life, it's really good to have maths. And now that we've built this new method of doing it, which really embeds the principles of maths a lot more and really um, makes it less scary, I think, um, what we want to do is just take that all the way through to 18. But it is a long-term vision and it will take us time to build up um, you know, more maths teachers and also uh, other um, you know, technology that can help supplement that. Yeah, I mean, dare I say you've had to use your maths quite a lot in trying to work out what to pay teachers. And there's been an argument, hasn't there, about how much yep. their real terms income ha has reduced over the last 10 years. The union saying down 24 percent. The Institute for Fiscal Studies saying it's more like 11 percent. But either way, you're having huge problems, as you mentioned, trying to find enough maths teachers to do this, let alone keep the ones that you've got. When you've got so many unhappy teachers, huge walkouts planned for the summer term, which begins today. Well, what we did very recently with maths was introduce bursaries for maths and other subjects as well that we do have a shortage of, uh, so physics and computer science. So we introduced bursaries of £27,000. That's relatively recent. And we've also put a levelling up payment for, uh, if, you're, if you're working in an uh, education opportunity area, of another £3,000 on top of all the other offers that we've made to teachers. But there is a specific offer for maths, um, physics and computer science teachers because, of course, they are, um, you know, very uh, well sought after by many, many uh, different organisations. Um, the Prime Minister used the word, if you cannot understand basic maths, you ought to be embarrassed. I would have thought you could be embarrassed if you're language standard if your use of English wasn't very good or whatever. Do you not think that's a bit harsh to say that you should be embarrassed if your basic maths aren't up to scratch? Well, I think the point he's trying to make is 
if people can't read or, or aren't very good at reading, um, it's something that you know people are a bit embarrassed about. Uh, and yet people will very openly say, I'm rubbish at maths, I can't do numbers, numbers are not for me. So it's a cultural thing, really. And it's just something that I think we, we feel very confident that if people were taught the way that kids are being taught now, most people who say, I'm no good at numbers, I can't do maths, um, who didn't have a good experience at school would feel differently about it. So what we're saying is we think we've got a much better way of teaching that will really um, not just help young people but also help older children and also maybe even adults as well. Um, just lastly, I mean, some people might argue that you could be embarrassed if you're Prime Minister and you can't get a grip of these strikes. It's not just in your department but also we've seen over the weekend this nurses deal has fallen apart. That's embarrassing. Well, I think what we've done, and, and I think it's important to say this, we've accepted every independent pay review body's recommendation, all of which came back with higher proposals than we had budgeted for or we had uh, suggested. In addition to that, we then reopened in serious negotiations that took place, myself with the teaching unions, the health secretary with the health unions, and we've had serious uh, negotiations. We've reopened the 2022 um, 20, uh, pay um, in the case of teachers and nurses offering a one-time sum and we've also offered above inflation rises for next year based on the forecast for inflation. So we have really tried very hard and done everything possible to be professional but of course we also need to balance the whole taxpayers situation because of course it's taxpayers money and we've been really focused on making sure we halve inflation making sure that we put relief in place for everybody's energy bills everybody's benefited from that so that we can get through this short spike as energy has been weaponized as part of the um appalling invasion in ukraine